Hi, my name is Zach. I'm the COO for my company, and we're going to be talking today about Proposify and PandaDoc. Our company originally started out with Proposify, tried out PandaDoc for a little bit, and then ultimately decided to stick with Proposify. For more reviews like this, click below. We've got a growing company, and part of that growth is having a sales team, getting more of that pipeline coming in so that we can do more work. And so we needed a program that could more robustly and consistently send out proposals and estimates to all these new prospects coming in. So began the search and found both Proposify and PandaDoc. One thing our company instantly loved about Proposify was its powerful templates. We were able to, with the very many offerings our company has, we're a creative company, still be able to embed what we needed, have different cost and fee tables, add optional items for our clients, and be able to have that customized for each different service line in our company, which saved us so much time instead of having each salesperson start from a generic proposal template and then have to build it out for the different service lines. So being able to have robust and a variety of templates really help us out. So one thing that I was impressed about with PandaDoc is that it just feels really clean and fresh. It, it gives you kind of Apple vibes of just really minimalist but yet sharp looking. So if you're sending out very simple estimates, very simple proposals where you want that kind of minimalist feel, uh, maybe even just some minimalist elements in your templates, really seems like it'd be a good fit. Implementing both Proposify and PandaDocs to our team was fairly easy. Both of them have a really good tutorial program and support for like the first 90 days of your subscription. So the implementation was fairly easy. I would say from a learning curve uh, gauge, uh, PandaDoc was a little bit easier just because it's simpler. It doesn't have as many buttons and nozzles and toggles uh, as Proposify. So it took a little more time to learn Proposify because it had more offerings. But uh, overall, though, I would say getting to uh, at least competent level is about the same. When I'm searching for a program to implement and introduce to my team, I'm really looking for three things. I'm looking for, number one, how easy is it to implement? It needs to be intuitive enough that I don't suddenly have to become an expert and train my team. It should be able to train them for me. Uh, you know, is it intuitive enough to learn on your own? Uh, the next thing is, is it powerful? Does it accomplish the mission? If I'm looking for a proposal program, I need it to send proposals well. And then the last thing is the cost-benefit ratio. You know, with programs like Proposify and PandaDoc, I mean, they have a pretty hefty monthly subscription. But if that empowers my sales team to close X amount of more sales per month, then the ROI on that is a no-brainer. So I'm looking for how e easy is it to implement, what is, is it going to be able to accomplish the mission and what's the cost benefit ratio?